just close. Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So it's been about a year since I installed a power frank in my Tesla Model 3. But to use the power frank, I either have to take out my phone to use on the app or I have to get in the car and then press the button on the screen. But now I have this new power front trigger sensor that you can just basically knock twice in this area right here and then the front will just open for me um, so if you have a power front already installed you can just add the sensor to your power front but if you do not have power front um, if you knock twice then the front will just release and you can use your hand to open it so you don't have to reach your phone or get in the car so if you carry something that you you know don't you can't really get your phone out you can just knock on the front trunk then it will just open or they also have an option for a soft close so you don't have to press it down and it will just close it for you so in today's video I'll show you where you can get this sensor um, knocking sensor trunk and step-by-step -step installation for this sensor front trunk and then I'll show at the end how it will work now let's go you can get the front trunk knocking sensor from Tesla C or Tesla C Dot com. Make sure you select the right options for your car. There's Model 3, Model 3 Highland, and Model Y. You can either get the soft close only or knock sensor only, or you can get both package soft close and knock sensor is $240. But if you only need the knock sensor only, it's only $139. Um, I'll show you with the discount how much would it be. And the knock sensor came in. This is what comes in the package for the knocking sensor. So one wire harness connect to the OBD port on the side passenger seat and another set of wiring is connecting to your uh, front trunk. So this is the sensor itself and this is the knocking sensor and you just connect these to the battery and one of them will connect to this one right here. And if you are interested, you can use my special discount code that TC for extra discount. So this is the price for just the knocking sensor only. It's $113 after the discount. Now let me show you the step-by-step -step installation for the knocking sensor. Now let's start with the installation by removing four different bolts so we can remove the top in the front trunk. After removing all four bolts, there is a plastic clips right there in the top right hand corner especially for the newer uh, model y as you can see in the video now remove the lights and the opening switch after that you'll be able to remove the whole top out the next step here to add the ground power from the sensor so you just undo the bolt and then add the ground cable into the exiting ground as you can see here and then just run the wire up so we can reach to the battery so the red cable is to hook the power up to the battery so this will send the power to the knocking sensor part so basically you just have to undo the screw enough to add the power cable into the red side of your battery power and then just screw it back in that's pretty much it how you get the power for the sensor before all of this um, i highly recommend to turn off the car first then we can safely you know add the power in go to the main menu and go to safety scroll all the way down and power off the next step here to remove all the panels on the passenger side so first remove the top panel first and then remove the side door seal panel the plastic side door, door seal panels it's only uh, one plastic tab that you have to remove and then you should be able to remove the whole door seal panel uh, with no screw at all after that 
one more plastic tab basically just use the plastic removal tools to help removing that tab then you should be able to access the side passenger panel OBD port it should be blue color as you can see here this is a blue side passenger OBD port then we can use the provided wire harness um, the OBD port wire harness to plug into the open port so this is how the sensor connects to the car and then send the information to the car and open the front trunk then this is probably the hardest part of the installation just use the plastic fishing wire to fish through from the front trunk remember after you remove the trunk you should be able to access this part let me show you where to get into that i think this is only the way that you can get into cabin space in the front passenger space is that air vent pipe right there so we just try to fish through that into the space inside and then connect after that you get into the interior area then just use the electrical tape to tape down the wiring that you just connected to the OBD port then go back to your front trunk and then pull the wire through from that fishing line now just remove the electrical tape and then just run the wire across it should be long enough and then connect that wire to the sensor module as you can see here so basically we almost done with the installation after you've done the hardest part which is you know access from front trunk to the interior then everything should be really easy next here this is the sensor module um, the main sensor or the main box so we just you know tape it down it came with the uh, double-sided tape just tape down right next to where you are going to install the sensor this is the sensor itself um, you just you know get the spot as you can see you know try to knock it just get to in into the right spot and then just tape right underneath that um, front trunk aluminum part next to your headlight and just tape it down and that's pretty much it now we just have to organize all the wiring uh, make it nice and neat and clean so you know you don't accidentally pull the wire now we just have to put the top back screw everything back in and that's it the installation is done now let's go and test it out and this is how it would function with a soft close combo you basically have to push your front trunk down to get close to the sensor and it just soft close by itself now the installation is done let's test it out so not right here twice where we install the sensor and the front will just open again if you do not have a power front trunk or a soft close you can add the soft close to it but if you do already have the front power front trunk you can also close it by knocking it again and then I'll just close there you go that's really really cool so if, if I, I carry something and I want to put in my front trunk I can just basically knock like this and it will just open as you can see in the video um, now my car can basically just have a couple knocks on this part of the hood and the front will just open I don't have to reach out the app or get in the car to open the front trunk and the installation wise I think the most complicated part is that you have to run the wire from the front area into the interior and fish it through otherwise everything else just follow step by step installation as you saw in the video today let me know in the comment down below how convenient uh, it is to open the front now is it worth it to add this knocking sensor for your front and I'll make sure to put the link in the description down below with special discount code for you too thank you so much guys for watching today's video make sure to click like if you like the video make sure to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace